uh, chapter in Eugene, Oregon. I also have a private foundation uh, which is looking into P PTSD issues. I appeared uh, before the council uh, in September as I was just getting started. Uh, I, it, it's really just comment on the action that's just been taken on the task force. Uh, I have approached PTSD not just from a military capacity. Uh, my experience is JAG, uh, um, similar to uh, the chair, I uh, have had experience as chief prosecutor for a large jurisdiction. Mine was the Western Circuit for uh, the United States when I was on active duty supervising General Courts Marshal on many serious cases in the Western United States, uh, Alaska, and Hawaii. Uh, I got out, I stayed in the reserves, became a military judge, so I also had experience in criminal matters, but also uh, in many other capacities dealing with uh, veterans issues as I moved more into reserve context. But I had a fairly active uh, reserve commitment. Retired as Colonel, United States Air Force uh, in, in 2002. I've been involved in some conflicts. I've met and spoken with a lot of uh, veterans uh, who have PTSD. Serious issues and now with the private foundation. My focus on what I deem to be a sort of a new theory of uh, PTSD uh, treatment using music and art. Very untested so far, so it's, it's novel, it, it's promising. I have been involved with uh, Dr. Bessel uh, van der Kolk, who is really the father of PTSD in the nation, and I would say his opinion should carry great weight. One concern I have that I've already uh, expressed privately uh, to Lori here uh, is delay for a study to do what? Well, we already have a lot of national studies. Uh, there's a lot of theories out there about PTSD, and PTSD is a very interesting condition of the brain, and I'm not sure it's one that can easily be studied in an objective manner because there are a lot of subjective factors that go into that. Since I appeared in uh, September, I have worked at the Jasper Mountain uh, Center, which deals with some of the most traumatized children in the nation. Uh, I was employing my music and art approach. I think it's been successful. Uh, there's been uh, a lot done already. This is a new approach, but it simply builds on other approaches. There are a lot of experts in this state. One is the director of the Jasper Mountain facility, and, and I've talked to him at great length. I've dealt with all the therapists, psychiatrists, and folks out there. Uh, the one thing I would urge, and I will continue to urge through the legislative process, is um, we have serious issues. There are some uh, suggestions and studies not really established yet, but that maybe these issues don't come so much from combat as from childhood trauma. I think there's a lot to that theory. Uh, we have a lot of very traumatized kids. Some people are wondering what's going on in our society today. I said, well, look at all the traumatized kids you have in the streets and running away from home. Is this condition getting worse? I believe it is. I am, we'll also be working uh, with a home that's now been built in Eugene, which I think is a good area for development of projects, dealing with runaway girls to get them into a residential facility where we can encourage them to stay in school, many, what do we have, 30% dropout, 25, 30% dropout out of high schools. This is an urgent problem. Comments, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry? If you could wrap up your comments. Yes, that's all I'm saying is I would recommend uh, and continue to promote that we really need a task force formation process now. I think we're really talking process issues. And if we could get some of the best experts in the state together, uh, maybe have them even steer such a study. I don't disagree that a further study wouldn't be important, but I am concerned about the delay in the time of process to get these things generated. We've got people dying daily uh, from PTSD-related issues. Thank you.